And welcome everybody, we've decided to do a second Smash stream today, as there's lots of exciting things to cover, and boring things to not cover. This isn't really so much as a cosmology segment as it is an this is an ass, and this is a hole in the ground segment, where we point to the two and discuss the distinctions. Let's get started right away, and first to let you know that we are streaming live to Twitch. Let's talk about my favorite FPS and indeed game. And yes, I mean among all games. It's a Wolfenstein enemy territory. Here's a clip. By the way, this is really me playing here. This is us totally taking over a scrim and possibly setting a world record for Adler Nest. Please leave a comment if you're Tom. That guy right there, he's so fast he ran off the screen before you saw what he was doing. And indeed he will be out of frame. Look at he's already gone. Because he's faster than you likely are. Even if you are a pro level gamer at FPS and indeed enemy territory. Tom is lightning fast. Shout out to Tom the Prince of Belgium for being part of the strategy that does things like wins maps, does things like win maps, like this one. Here's me murdering some people up close. There's his teammate getting killed while trying to revive him, and here's us camping his spawn and finishing the map much faster than we ever anticipated. So we kind of show up and disrupt their defense a little bit. And I think Tom might have already been gone. Probably didn't even need our help. And uh, we're going to put up a link to the channel that includes this video. This is my old channel, the one that does not have monetization or a thousand plus subscribers. If you haven't played Enemy Territory, we'll talk about it a little later in the video. My favorite game of all time, better than Space Invaders, uh, better than Doom, Wolfenstein, Call of Duty, Battlefield 3, etc. Anyway, leave a comment about what you do up when you're in a bug-in situation. And of course, we're featuring original music on there. By the way, if you haven't checked out smashamash.org, check it out. There's links to the Smash forum on there. And if you're not familiar with the mission, let me explain. The mission is to assist study and report on the ongoing formation of a unified theory of physics to raise the awareness of the general public of the relationship between space weather and Earth effects. By the way, if you hear a weird sound in the background, it's because we are streaming live from the Smash Bunker, where we are bugged in and not bugging out at all. Another part of the mission is to connect and consult with media organizations to multiply our reach. And when I do online multiplayer gaming, that's kind of a multiplication of our reach, right? Also to demonstrate cutting edge proof of concept solutions to problems, to publish scientific papers in a multidisciplinary manner, not limited to the sciences that are scrolling up the screen now. To assist mankind by advancing the study of predictive phenomenon, to do things like optimize value and adapt no matter what the adversity is, and lastly, to not be ossified in our beliefs as being ossified in your beliefs isn't science, but for those who are, to treat them with love, respect, and inclusion to the scientific discussion. By the way, if you've got tinnitus, here's one way around it. It's freewhitenoise.com. You can simulate ocean waves, perhaps the wind. How about trickling water? Maybe cicadas and crickets. What relaxes you? Please leave a comment. Let us know. How about a large waterfall? Or maybe some pink noise? 
or how about some raw white noise? In any case, what do you do when you're when you're bugged in? Let's let's give you some examples. Do you like to oh I don't know wire your genitals to a car battery? Well, perhaps use a fused system like this. People are into some weird stuff nowadays. Who knows? Maybe you're into woodworking. Maybe do some woodworking while you're sitting around bored. Finish that project that you barely started with some naturally harvested wood products. Oh, yeah. If you're wondering, it's willow. And that does not make me a Satanist. Perhaps you're into card games. Can I, can I recommend some cambric finish cards? You've got to have the cambric finish. It's very slippery. And uh, maybe that's the thing to do. Play some No Limit Texas Hold'em and use toilet paper only as your bedding medium. And if you're wondering, we've got some. So we've got the toilet paper. We've got the Manischewitz elderberry. So there are no worries here. We can survive for an untold period of time with our color filters. And, oh, what's that? Smasho staff wants to appear on camera. I guess we failed during the YouTube video. Yeah, 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 honey cakes. Honey cakes come on to screen. She wants to show off her new lingerie. I, I don't know. It, I think you may have coronavirus, babe. She claims she doesn't have coronavirus. Do you have anything to say? Uh, yeah, she has nothing to say. But uh, listen, I think we may have to fire you. No, we may have to fire you because... Fine, I'm sure you'll be back on the job soon enough. Anyway, hope you feel better. Please get back off camera because we've got lots more things to cover in the Sunday street. Don't, don't look at me in that tone of voice. All right, get, all right. Go have yourself some chicken noodle soup or something. Make it extra spicy. Have some elderberries, etc. By the way, thanks to our patrons, the real source of funding for the videos. And what's this, a comment? Do I want to become famous? Oh my goodness, We're, we can buy followers, oh my gosh! How tempting, I think we'll pass. Anyway, thanks to our patrons, the real source of financial support for the channel, websites, etc. And let me get rid of that white noise, as it's annoying. As we've got enough noise in the Smash Bunker to begin with. By the way, we'll be making the shirts for the 3C405 massive radio galaxy cygnus a so look for that coming soon we're expecting a price point of about 25 bucks plus shipping so pardon the expensive nature of it but that's the expensive nature of demonetized content like ours that's what the shirt will look like approximately and let's talk about blazars as they seem to be becoming more and more important what a surprise who could have forecasted it this guy could have and did forecast it Anyway, some astrophysicists are designing 3D setups to watch quasars, wowzers, whoa, oh my gosh. Links to this article shall be below the video. It's a phys.org, and I don't care. Let's move on to some stuff that's got nothing to do with astrophysics particularly, except that welcome to space. All your weather comes from here, and so does climate. And uh, we've been playing some enemy territory and watching the failures of the enemy <laughs> in the form of dumpster fires and indeed train wrecks. So, I mean, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a train wreck. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a train wreck. Could you be mine? Would you be mine? I have always disliked neighbors just like 
Bernie. I have always wanted to live in a neighborhood without guys like that. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, Bernie might as well say, people will die, many will die, so let's enact socialism. Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you enact socialism? No, we won't. If you like the original memes, they'll be in the description also. Bernie Sanders is an electable candidate, survey said. You know, I'm so done with this family feud stuff. I mean, Peter Sagan, Peter Sagan is sick of it. He's probably in a bunker in Slovakia right now. So, shout out to Peter Sagan. Hopefully the bunker is as secure as ours. Holy crap, the headsets are falling off of the sides of the walls and stuff is just hitting the nothing. And geez, oh whiz, holy crow, I'm really concerned about stuff. And man, oh man, it's a scary thing when you're holing up in a bunker. They got me in a bunker over here, a bunker. But we're still producing content such as today's space weather video here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, hey, thanks for the comment. I'm sure that wasn't a bot. And congratulations to Steven Crowder on a billion views. Here's a teaser from his one billion view special. And there we go. <laughs> yeah. Now it's awesome. not only a clip show. It's not. Let's not get copyright struck and play a real clip. Here he is dressed up as a woke, woke, and beautiful woman. <laughs> the reason why, you know why? We just had a producer oh. go up and say, hey, will you give an interview? I'm busy. Yeah. Uh, she's trans. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, perhaps have a clip of that. Or perhaps, if you're not already viewing our BitChute channel, perhaps consider subscribing. And thanks to our new subscribers. It keeps going up, and our number of views is just ridiculous. As it is casting some shade on YouTube, to the very least. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the earliest train wreck dumpster fire video about the DNC and Bernie Sanders. And please leave a comment regarding Tom Steyer's tie. Does he always wear the same tie? I don't know. Here's a clip from the video. But let's just say there are other email accounts that are, shall we say, a little more secure than Gmail because it's junkware. Did you know that Google's actively interfering in the 2020 US presidential election, just like it did in 2016? If not, perhaps check out the BitChute video. It's already got 512 views, as YouTube is a laughing stock and a joke when it comes to actual information. Were you aware that Tom Steyer is nuts? An environmentalist lunatic who knows nothing about global warming? or climate change, or atmospheric physics, or thermodynamics of the planet, which can't be measured with the atmosphere, by the way. Did you watch our vengeance streams? Well, we've got a bunch of vengeance streams. Did you watch the ownage video about enemy territory? Do you want to play a game as exciting as this for free? Well, it's completely free. So if you want to check it out, check out et.trackbase.net. And you can follow me there. You can put me on your buddy list. You'll be able to see what I'm playing. You can come play against me and make me look like even more of a noob than I already look like. And if you're wondering about the servers, while not that many people play enemy territory right now, lots still do, and there still is a largely functioning society here, at, especially at Fearless Assassins. So thanks, shout out to Fearless Assassins for running servers. They are the best in the world, especially FA Recruiting XP Save and FA Number 2 XP Save Forever. Fantastic servers. Here's the server list, by the way, and you can see, I'll hit refresh. Right now, FA Recruiting has 42 human beings playing right now. It's a 
21 versus 21 battle royale going on in enemy territory right now and that's an american server they're running jmod 2.2 and you can see that their number two server is the sixth largest server in the world that one is located in germany so lots of euros and stuff still playing enemy territory as it is still a great skill-based game vastly superior to any call of duty game that you'll ever play and uh it's all cooperative maps if you want to get into the society there check out fearless assassins it's fearless-assassins.com and of course i've got a log in there so again thanks to fearless assassins for hosting enemy territory servers for so long well done and uh I invite all of our viewers to go over there and set up a login and an account, learn how to play enemy territory. It's super great. If you don't know about things like basic military tactics that you could learn in an FPS game, perhaps learn them via playing ET. It's completely free. The game itself is only about 260 megabytes. So with less than a half a gig, a half of a gigabyte of space on your computer, and you don't need a fast computer to run enemy territory, you, you can play the entire game and uh, it'll, it'll run just fine at a perfectly acceptable frame rate. You don't need an expensive computer. You can spend 120 bucks and get a computer that will run enemy territory just fine. And that's part of, the, part of the benefit of the game, that anybody can play it. You don't have to have an expensive gaming machine. So it's completely free. It's open source. You can even make your own maps, enemy territory, and fearless assassins good times and hey smash team thanks again for tuning in we've got links to everything below the video anything you want to check out from this particular live stream feel free and we've got some bonus features first we're going to look at some transients and we've got links to the neil Garrell swift observatory below the video also if you want to monitor the x-ray emissions from things in the universe Hit Control F and type SGR space A to get to Sagittarius A star. That's the core of the Milky Way galaxy. And uh, here are the recent X-ray emissions from that. And oh my gosh, they're looking totally normal there. Let's go over and look at the Crab Nebula, one of the calibration sources for things like X-ray telescopes. There's the data from Crab. And it's looking quite nominal there over at the Crab Nebula. And lastly, let's look at Cygnus X3, the source of, who knows, could be society itself. But anyway, there's Cygnus X3, and it looks like it's thinning out again. So this may not have gone back into its full state yet. It looked like it was going to come out of a quiescent state there a little while ago. If you note, the zero line is down here, and all this activity would be up here only. And it's coming off of this low level. And Cygnus X3 is a very uh, consistent, massive X-ray binary. And uh, let's just say it's more than important. If you want to read about it, it is on smashamash.com slash forum. So if you just head to smashamash.com slash forum, you can read a lot of information about Cygnus X3. Just head there, head to the Cosmology Forum, and of course we have a sticky for the most. And we now have a sticky for Cygnus X3 massive X-ray binary also. So those both stuck to the global sticky list. You want to read all about Cygnus X3, otherwise known as Polestar Deneb, head to smashamash.com slash forum. And again, we will leave links to the Neil Gorel Swift BAT Observatory. That stands for Burst Alert Telescope, as we've got various X-ray targets that we watch all the time. Next, we're going to look at markets. And by the way, the markets absolutely look manipulated. The markets look as if money is being sloshed back and forth between bonds and stocks and crypto and precious metals. So, yeah. If you're seeing oddities in the currency markets, the equity markets, the stock markets, commodities, crypto, bonds, and everything else, 
don't be surprised as institutional investors absolutely have the ability to manipulate these markets. So oil's still at 32 bucks a barrel and uh, gold's down to 15.28. So none of these market technicals add up to make any sense. Uh, normally safe havens are precious metals. Safe, safe havens uh, a few months ago were considered to be cryptocurrencies, but they don't look like it now. And it's all looking like a bunch of nonsense to me, folks. So I don't know what you have to say, but please leave a comment regarding what you think about the markets. If you think they're being intentionally manipulated by institutional investors, corporations, and nation states. We're going to look at crypto real quick just to see how much of a hit it's been taken. Check it out. Bitcoin has been taking it on the chin. There's the one-year chart of Bitcoin kaplastered. Next, we're going to look at the Bitcoin, I mean the uh, Coinbase chart for Ethereum, and Ethereum also looking ka-plastered. Wow, it's reached a 52-week low here in the past couple days. So, an indication there's not a lot of confidence when people panic about crypto, and I don't disagree there. However, I do have a small token investment, and if you would like to buy in now while the market is incredibly low, consider using our link. This will get you 10 bucks of free Bitcoin just for using our link. So check that out if you like. If you haven't dipped your tippy toe into the realm of cryptocurrency yet, perhaps it is a speculative investment on which you could make some money. Is it a real store of value? I don't think so. I don't think it's anything like precious metals, as I am not a believer in the blockchain. And I don't want to get into a big explanation of how that stuff works. But in any case, if you want to try crypto investing, I do have a small token investment. And I am most interested in Ethereum. So, yeah, if you want to discuss that, feel free. I have, I have a few small holdings, nothing particularly relevant to my finances. And that is by design. Last but not least, here's a little clip from the video about the doppelganger slash wraiths story that I personally witnessed. So this is an anecdotal update for me. I'm going to play a little clip here. Before that, I'm going to show you a bottle of elderberry wine. Don't forget to stock up on your elderberry wine and toilet paper, folks. What a joke. By the way, your stores are going to be stocked again in like two days, according to my calculations. Here's a teaser. And again, we are making new playlists on the YouTube channel, so look for that. Here's a teaser starting at 1337. I was the Bell Evo 2. So I see all this stuff, because remember, when we're riding the bike, we're all wearing a disguise, essentially. And uh, you gotta look at each other's bikes and gear to be able to tell who you're talking to and stuff. So I'm looking for the glasses and the helmet and the jersey. I see it on the left. And I now I really jam on the brakes. So I jam on the brakes, and then I see this on my right. And that's what... Now, I don't know if that's a silhouette of a Barack Obama or not, and I don't really care. The point is, we are out. Thanks for tuning in. This live stream is complete. We will talk to you soon. Look for all the links that we described below the video. And uh, may the coronavirus be underneath your boot as you stomp on insects.